any questions that people have. Now there's a bunch of other ways I could think about this. I could think about it as partial u partial xi divided by pi equals partial u partial xj divided by pj. Okay? And of course, in my notation, that's all equal to lambda. Because both of those got to be equal to lambda. What does that say? What is this? What does this equation say? What is this? Yeah. Yeah, it's the utility I gain per dollar from consuming good I. At whatever point I'm at, at my current point, remember, the way we're finding an optimum is we're finding a point where all these equations hold. So the only way we can, remember, these are necessary conditions for being at the optimum. So in order to be at an optimum, it's got to be the case that the utility on the margin per dollar has to be the same for all the goods. But that makes sense. What if the utility per dollar were greater on good I than it was on good J? Then what should you do? You should move dollars from J to I until they're equal. Right? Then you can't be in an equilibrium if those two things are not equal. Okay. Now, if you were at a corner and you weren't consuming any of good J and you were consuming good I, maybe you can't move any further in that direction. So that could happen, but it would only happen if you're at a corner. So I'm consuming some of both. I gotta have these things be equal. Everybody understand that? Anything? Anything else? People understand why that works? But it also says I now have an interpretation of lamb. What is lamb? What is lamb? What is this multiplier gonna turn out to be? I solve this Lagrangian and I get the equilibrium value of lamb. It's how much utility I get from an extra dollar. Spent how? Yeah, spent, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter how I spend it. You gave me an extra dollar and I spent it on I, I spent it on J, I spent it half on I, half on J, doesn't matter. When these equations hold, the margin utility of a dollar spent is going to be the same spent however you want. That's going to turn out to be quite important for us. Because it means well, if we want to try to value how much something's worth, we don't have to really worry that much about how the guy actually is going to spend it. We can talk about the value of something independent of what he's actually going to do. Turns out that matters a lot. So for example, if you're interested in like the medical area, and you want to know, well, what's the value of putting fluoride into the water? And dentists will say, well, we should put fluoride in the water because it'll reduce cavities. But maybe in equilibrium, it won't reduce cavities. Because when we put the fluoride in the water, people stop brushing their teeth. And they actually get up with just as many or more cavities than they did before. And the dentists come back and say, holy shit, we put the fluoride in the water, it didn't do any good. We didn't benefit. An economist comes back and says, yes, we did. People benefited. They didn't have to brush their teeth anymore. <laughs> they not benefited how you wanted them to benefit, which is to get healthier teeth. Didn't mean they didn't benefit. They benefited in some other way. And it really doesn't matter how they chose to take their benefits. They would benefit from that either way. They could have gotten cleaner teeth. That clearly would have benefited them. The fact that they chose not cleaner teeth in some other way means that anything to a second order, they're actually even better off because they took something they valued even more than cleaner teeth. People understand how that works? It's, that's a key idea. You don't really have to know. You don't have to look at it that way. It's very frustrating often for policymakers who have an intended result, even though people end up fighting against that result. Right? That happens all the time. Come up with a drug that helps people deal with being overweight. Well, people get fatter. I mean, it's just the way the world works. So it's an equilibrium. But at the, you know, for this purpose, it works okay. All right. So that's kind of our...